Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne and today we're going to be starting a brand new mini series of videos that focuses on Pro Tools and Melodyne Essential. Now up until now I've been focusing heavily on Melodyne Studio which is the flagship version. It has all the power, all the flexibility, all of the tools. However, as of now, Pro Tools and Pro Tools Ultimate come bundled with Melodyne Essential. So we have a lot of new users out there. So if this is you, if you are opening up Melodyne for the first time, this series of videos is aimed right at you. We're going to make sure that you get started off right. So let's dive in. Okay, on my screen right here, I have a Pro Tools session, and we're looking at all of the vocal tracks in this session. I have lead vocals and then some background vocals in there as well. Now in Pro Tools, if you want to use Melodyne, you're going to place it on a track just like you would a plugin. Now on some of these tracks you'll see that I already have some plugins. I got some tape emulation, I have some console emulation as well. We're going to put Melodyne in the first slot. I always recommend doing this because you want to feed Melodyne the cleanest and purest version of this signal. It's going to help the most with detection and the most with pitch correction as well. So we simply open up this, this uh, menu, go to plugin, choose other, you can drop down and choose Melodyne. However, if you're sorting by company, come right over here to where it says Celimony, the people that make Melodyne, and we just choose Melodyne, and there we go. We're going to talk about this window in future videos. I'm going to go over all the things you need to know about this window. But the first thing I want to talk about today is how we have to transfer the audio in to Melodyne in order to use it in Pro Tools. Melodyne works differently than a lot of other plugins. Melodyne, in order to do everything that it can do, doesn't just look at the one instant in time where the playhead is, like most plugins. Melodyne actually looks at everything before it and after it that you load in. So the more information you give it, the more accurate it will be in figuring out things like chords and keys and various other information. So we need to transfer this audio in, and it is very, very simple. It's as simple as hitting this transfer button right here and then choosing what audio we want to transfer in. I'm going to choose the first line of this song, and it goes just like this. I'm going to hit play. Now do you know the situation? Okay, and then Melodyne will detect and analyze that, and now we see this first line has been transferred into Melodyne right here. You'll see all of these orange, Melodyne calls them blobs. We'll talk a little bit more about how to read this information later on, but this first line has now been loaded in. Now, any lines that haven't been loaded in will still be able to play through. If I play the next line, Who is governing this land? You can still hear it without a problem. Audio is still allowed to pass through. We just won't be able to edit it or alter it until we transfer it into Melodyne. So now we come to a point where we have to ask ourselves a question, right? Do we want to only transfer in the snippet of the song that we're working on, or do you want to transfer in everything all at once? And there is no right answer here. You can just decide what works for you. Um, the beautiful thing is, the wonderful thing, is that it doesn't make a difference in terms of sound quality. The audio, when it's just transferred in, is a perfect, exact copy of that audio. It is not altered, changed, degraded, any of that. It doesn't change, as a matter of fact, until you go in and edit it and change it. So whether or not you load it in does not affect the sound quality at all. Some things that might make this decision for you might be based around your computer and the speed that it works at. For every vocal that you have and load in, it's more or less stored in RAM, and that might slow your computer down a little. So if you have an older computer, a slower system, you're already running tons of uh, virtual instruments, maybe you only want to load in a little bit of this at a time. One thing to be careful of, though, and a, a danger in only loading it a little bit at a time, is if you go in and alter some of this and edit it, and then if you try to transfer it later and accidentally go over that line again, now do you know the situation? Like so, you will lose the changes that you made. So in order to avoid that, what I like to do is I like to just load it all in at once, right? I'll just set it up and let it play through the whole song, 
and I'll go grab a cup of coffee and get ready and give the song a listen through, right? Never a bad idea if you're going to be mixing something just to give it a listen through a few times before you start throwing a compressor on everything. So what I want to do is I want to put Melodyne on each one of these tracks right here, all the background vocals too. There's a very simple way to do this in Pro Tools, and that is Shift Option, right? A quick key for you. In Pro Tools, Option means All, and Shift means Selected. So Shift Option means All Selected. I have selected all of these tracks right here, so if I hold down Shift Option and choose Melodyne, like so, it will put it on each track. Okay, great. So now Melodyne Essential is not multi-track. You can only look at one track at a time, so we need to open each window individually and get ready to transfer all this audio. It's still pretty simple, right? We click on the first plugin, hit transfer, click on the next window, hit transfer, and so on, and so on. This might be very slightly slower than some of the more advanced versions of Melodyne that are multi-track, but by what, 10, 20 seconds max? Not a big deal. Okay, now that I have set all of these tracks to be ready to transfer, I'm going to choose the portion of the song that I want to transfer in. I can click before it and then hit shift and click after for selection. Let's make sure I've got all those vocals, right? That plays before and after all the vocals, so we should get all of them in there. Now all we need to do is let it play through and it will transfer the audio in. But before we do, there's one quick thing I want to talk about, which is the algorithm. And you can choose this right here. If you look on this, you'll see we've got choices of different algorithms. Okay, so an algorithm is more or less the information that Melodyne looks at to make its choices and to help it get the best sound quality. Since different types of instruments and voices have differing key factors, differing information in there, we have different algorithms that work best with them. So let's go through them real quick. We see our universal algorithm. That is for multiple instruments together, whole beds of music. If you've got a whole song, universal is the way to go. Percussive, great for percussion elements, tambourine, uh, bongos, things like that. A new one in Melodyne 5, percussive pitched. This is for instruments that have a percussive element to them, but also a pitched element. So 808s with, that, are that have a tone to them, beatboxing. Next, we come to melodic. This is for monophonic choices like vocals, generally bass, most, a lot of horns. And then we come to polyphonic sustain and polyphonic decay. Now, the polyphonic algorithms are not strictly available in Melodyne Essential for editing. But brand new in Melodyne 5, we can still use them to get information about the chords which will help us figure out what notes we want to move our vocals to. We're going to cover that in a later video. So even though we can't use polyphonic for polyphonic editing, we still have these algorithms here to help us and help get some information from them. Very, very cool stuff I'll cover in the future. So you can choose your algorithm. You can also go to set default and set it to automatic. When it's set to automatic, it will just choose for you. This is really nice. If you just are doing a bunch of tracks in there, you want to transfer them all at once, you can choose automatic and Melodyne will choose the right algorithm most of the time. It'll look at the information, decide which algorithm is best, and select that. So that's where we're going to put it on right now. We're going to put it on automatic and let this transfer through. Here we go. Okay, great. So we're back, and now I've let this play all the way through, and it's transferred everything in, right? If we look at our lead vocal, we see it's transferred all the way in. That's monophonic. Let's look at this next one. Uh, and we see here that it is also all the way through. We'll go to the end. Let me uh, zoom out just a little bit here. There it is. We see that. That's at the end of the song. We can come to this one and do the exact same thing. We can zoom out. Now, in this case, let's see. I want to point out that it didn't choose monophonic here for this vocal. It chose universal. Uh, and it did that probably because of headphone bleed. Sometimes if there's too much headphone bleed, it can sound like there is a full band playing. So it chose universal. Uh, th there are two ways to deal with this. First things first is you can just decide ahead of time to choose melodic, and it will just automatically do it from the beginning. The other way is if you want to just read a text after it's already done it incorrectly, it's as simple as selecting all of these notes. In this case, I can hit Command A, and it chooses all of them. And then you go to your algorithm and just choose melodic after the fact, 
say it's just change the algorithm, you say redetect, and you'll see that it looks through. It's very fast. It goes through, and now we see all of them. Okay, so now all these vocals are loaded in, and we are ready to start editing, which we'll cover in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed today. Thanks.